In Invincible Season 1 we saw the strength of Omni-Man and how destructible he is. In Season 1 when Omni-Man starts to take over the planet, it seems that he cannot be defeated as he is able to defeat the Guardians of the Globe, the Healed Immortal, a Kaiju, and Sinclair's Renaman. Even his son Mark Grayson who shares his Viltrumit, is even powerless to defeat him. However the post-credits scene of Invincible Season 2 Episode 2, reveals a way to topple Omni-Man which adds a new layer to the story. In the post-credits scene of Episode 2 an alternate Mark is seen restrained in the GDA, who are working to gain information on how to defeat his kind. In the post-credits scene Angstrom Levy shows up to talk to Mark, offering his help in return for information. Mark then explains that the GDA ambushed Omni-Man with experimental quantum bombs. According to him these devastating bombs not only took out most of Europe, but also were able to defeat Omni-Man. This revelation challenges the notion of Omni-Man's so-called invincibility, and shows that he can be stopped. With Mark restrained, the GDA is no doubt working on more ways to combat the threat of the Viltrumet Empire. This post-credits scene is a major development for the story, as this gives the characters a way to combat Omni-Man. However this detail about the quantum bombs, was an invention of the show and not something that happened in the comics. But this raises the question of how do they kill Omni-Man in comics. Similar to what the TV show has indicated with its take on Omni-Man, the comic version of the character wasn't unstoppable either. As a Viltrumet the character possesses a diverse set of abilities, that make him highly adaptive and powerful, however Invincible's Omni-Man and Viltrumets have weaknesses. One of them is tied to their power of flight, an ability they possess because of sensitivity in the inner ear. Certain sound frequencies inflict physical pain on them, as demonstrated in Invincible Season 2 Episode 2 when Mark battles the sea creature. The scream the creature produces causes Invincible immense pain. Cecil notices this fact and begins work to weaponize the sound against the Viltrumets. Another weakness is exposure to intense heat. Although Viltrumet's skin is incredibly resilient due to rapid healing, intense heat from the sun or boiling plasma can weaken and potentially kill them. It's plausible that the experimental quantum bomb that Mark mentions, could generate sufficient heat to defeat Omni-Man. Another weakness is the Scourge virus created by the Coalition of Planets, which proved to be a formidable weapon. This airborne disease essentially shuts down the Viltrumet's powers, and can lead to their death. In the case of Omni-Man, a unique weakness is his attachment to his son. Despite his ability to kill members of the Guardians of the Globe who were considered his friends, he cannot bring himself to kill his son stopping himself before he beats him to death. This display of humanity weakens his inherent Viltrumet instincts, as he chooses to stand by his son instead of completing the mission of their race. These weaknesses collectively demonstrate, that despite the portrayal of Omni-Man as an impenetrable force in the Invincible TV show so far, Omni-Man can be killed. So guys that's it. Did you have any method to kill Omni-Man or you want him alive, please tell me in comments. If you guys like my content please like this video, and for more amazing videos don't forget to subscribe soups 24-7. So guys thank you for watching, see you soon.